Gives you an idea of what the playoffs is going to be like. And you got to face pitches when he makes mistakes. There's the curveball. And there's no mystery with this Mariners team. We Anthony with four home runs. Another two. A juiced up George Kirby has a 1 2 63 and 52. Julio Rodriguez, Eugenio, nine right handers to face the left. Rodriguez first. And Irvin gets a swinging strike against him. The Orioles going to his six man rotation for the. Servant is in there and he's off to a brilliant start at three pitch strike. In and out, and up and down. Got that cutter over to uh, Rodriguez, a strike to the powerful Eugenio Suarez. Battle. Who's played in all 116 now? The and he'll swing there and miss yeah. 93. Pass a little bit more while you're out there. And, and Suarez takes a called third strike, 94 over the end. Very well. See that from Irvin. Slams one into center for Cedric Mullins. And that's any indication of how good of a fastball he has. As you can see right there on that swing and miss, it's just. Full stands in. We saw a few splitters in that first inning, though, trying to establish the yeah, just a tick late. And Mowdy continues his red hot surge. Now a nice hit there. Ryan O'Hearn takes one just off that way, too. So the left side, Sam Haggerty's there. It's a fastball hitter. And a fastball start. He's back up the middle. The second baseman, Caballero's there. And we'll see if this sold out crowd is an impediment to the O's as Cal Raleigh takes ball one from Cole. Good. A little extra fastball for him as Raleigh pops. Hum a really strong weapon for him. And Cole has talked about incorporating that cutter to get such a defense against righties being able to throw that cutter because you get that movement in. And then you can start tweaking with the four seamer as he gets a nice play right back to him. Now catcher Tom Murphy. And the scoreless game early and Irvin uh, six out of six first pit strikes. And Murphy misses a fastball away. Yeah, he's got some extra juice. It's a head throws the off speed. Like he did there and get him out in front and now you can speed him back up and throw. It doesn't matter what the pitcher looks like or what kind of stuff they have. And to me, that's always one of the more interesting pitch first inning. And Murphy a ground ball to third base here. Jordan Westbrook throw it through the Orioles minor league system with double-a Bowie last night. He had it's okay. I guess Adam Frazier over to first and Ty France flips to Kirby year old third baseman Takes strike one. I mean Jackson holiday this year in a year where he started in single-a and he's 19 it is extraordinary yeah, It's wild you talking about most time when guys are high school, you know rookie Westbrook starting at third base tonight Jordan came off the play fine first year. In day by day. Ooh. Not once. Just past the mound of Kirby. Caballero, but poorly placed. First pitch swinging. Big swing. Haggerty started back and has plenty of one eight straight. Third slam to right center oh. on a two base hit from the Mariners short. Orioles and Mariners game two of three. Kevin Brown, Brad Brock, Melanie Newman, the five. Irvin with a diving cutter. And Sam Haggerty misses. Shot the other way and two in the big leagues this year. And a little tapper. Irvin does not have a play at third. And the number nine hitter, Jose Caballero, takes a tight. is mind boggling to me, but. Through the bat of Caballero, the first run. Another good pitch in there. Coming right out with the fastball. Good Caballero pitch. strikes out. Foul tip on a high fastball. It's Julio Rodriguez. And Rodriguez out of his shoes at a first pitch changeup. Full helped out by Seattle hitters. Rodriguez swinging at the second pitch as Irvin goes inside again. 0-2. Cole Irvin, who Seattle. Rodriguez pops it up short center field. Adam Frazier is third. Your DraftKings do ups, Adley, Cedric, and Anthony there.
And Rutschman a rare first pitch swing. The shortstop Moore with a backhand to making. J.P. Crawford, the Mariners starting shortstop on the concussion IL. This is only an early balls being put in play. You get those kind of plays made behind you when you're constantly in the zone. That's no walks today. Mullins a strikeout early and a foul ball muscled out of play here. And a sinker run right over the inside corner to. He jammed that one in there and got the strikeout. And he comes back and throws that pitch to Santander and where they want to be come the end of the season. Good look. strike, but you got to be able to catch up to 99. Tonight's bounty quick stats 54 home runs the last two years, the most of any switcher. There's one at 99 down below. They need to stay away from the front hip sinker. I've only known a, th a few pitchers in their zone they can hit a long way. On a 3 2, he went out of the zone and Santander went with him. King Felix t shirts. Felix Hernandez Hall of Fame night. Cole Irvin and Eugenio Suarez knocks one out of play. Both have. Remember, Cole Irvin's last six outings were in relief. On Sunday, he threw one inning, 12. In relief, you really don't want to mess around. Throw something hard back inside. Nope, oh, went back to it. Suarez holds up again. Is looking at an inside fastball in the first, and Suarez grounds a change up out of play here as a reliever as well many of those numbers before he was optioned out for the first time and Irvin last six in relief but his last start was six be a ninth pitch to Suarez and Suarez swings through it a high cutter and rack up good job by Cole there staying in the zone got it to two there, forcing Suarez to really have to be aggressive Ty France here fastball usage by almost half that's saying a lot. And the average, the average is stark difference. A lot more strikeouts, able to be more aggressive in the zone, and that's what I think the cutter allows you to do. Irvin. Three and two for Ty France here. Show that you can not only throw strikes inside, because he just misses there. From today, that Saturday. That ball is last into the left field corner and just turned behind him this year. And that ball is bounced foul again by Raleigh on a changeup. The night where we had because it just good pitch. Another foul tip strikeout, a cutter down strikeouts ties his season high. Good and right at the knees to Teoscar Hernandez. Nice and smooth towards home. At times it almost looks like he's lobbing it up there, but his stuff career against Cole Irvin. One and two. Still at first with two down. And right past Irvin into center field. His first career hit against Prince tonight so far. Strike one to Tom Murphy. About 150, 200 point difference. Into right field for Santander and Irvin. The more people said womp womp. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Felix was at that point. One and two for Ryan Mountcastle. Brandon Hyde, there's Hall of Fame. I think uh, it's hard to argue against Felix Hernandez being the best in franchise history. George Kirby is doing his best. Felix Hernandez impressed. Keeping the ball at the heart of the plate. Got past Mountcastle as the Orioles only hit impersonation tonight. Did you ever get to see Felix Hernandez? You see all those yellow shirts out in, out in left field. Oh, her and jammed. Learn more about the Stuff the Bus event. Austin Hayes, France still looking. Good. A little tapper here, right back to Kirby. One All Star grounds out. Got to go out on Lake Washington earlier today. Hey, for you. Good day. Out on the wall. Good big league ball game right now. O'Hearn and. Oh. And Dylan Moore goes down swinging a new season high. Six. Strike one swinging for Sam Haggerty. Using their aggressiveness to where they're getting swings and misses. And a two pitch. He's got the nine hitter, Jose Caballero. And a high strike one.